Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. So today we have something a bit different, a very bit different, because this is a new uh, 3D printed uh, custom. It is a new Davros, but this is of course not the Emperor Davros that some of you will be recognising. It is in fact the Terra Firma Davros from the Big Finish audio story of the same name. Now hang on a moment, I hear some of you cry. Why is he in the classic Dalek colours rather than the Imperial colours? Well, there's a very good reason for that and that's where we're going to start. You see, when you look at the cover for uh, Terra Firma, the Daleks used on the cover are in fact, from what I have been able to extrapolate and gather based on the tones and colours, are in fact uh, a couple of product enterprise Daleks, most specifically the classic silver with blue globes ones. And when you look at the colours on those Daleks, and you then look at the colours on the Emperor Davros in the corner, they're relatively the same. So I have taken a little bit of artistic license with this by putting him in these colours, but I would say it is not without merit. Um, and there is also the factor as well that, as you can see on this particular uh, model version of the Davros Emperor, the um, centerpiece, I suppose you would call it, has the look of the TV series uh, classic Evil of the Daleks Emperor. And it is sort of hinted, implied in the story, um, you know, and in the, some of the behind the scenes stuff that it, you know, that he's taken on parts, he's been repaired with the parts from that, uh, from that, that Emperor. Which again, stands to reason, it was in those sorts of colours, so why would Davros not be in those colours as well. So I just wanted to put that at the start just to explain why I've done these colours. It's an artistic choice of my own but personally I think it looks very well. I like it very much and I think it fits in with you know the, the, the story that we know. Um, so going on to the actual 3D print itself now, we have overall the base part, um, the skirt with the globes, is actually a 3D print of um, Edward Felix's fantastic, uh, accurate 80s Dalek from the um, uh, Revelation Remembrance classic Daleks, onto the top of which I have also used his Emperor Dalek top bit of the sculpt, but I've obviously reshaped it and squashed it down a bit to make it sort of the right scale, um, you know, to, to be the Davros, because despite the fact that that seems to be where this bit of Davros has come from in terms of the in-universe narrative, it actually doesn't fit. It doesn't, it's not the right size and shape, so I have had to change that a bit slightly. Obviously, the dome itself and the upper part of the dome uh, is based on his look from uh, the remembrance of the Daleks. Um, and obviously, I've done that that bit I've made myself. Um, you know, I've made it so it sort of looks the right sh size and the right shape. But of course, as you can see, there are some hinges on it. So typically, I've done this right as he turns round, but it will do a little bit extra reveal if I can do that carefully enough without disturbing him, as he comes round you can see that we do indeed have Davros inside. So what that essentially is, the inside part of Davros, is I've made the um, the, the body in terms of his sort of, you know, his, his shoulders and things like that, I've made those as part of the uh, 3D printed top bit of the sculpt and then the head is one of my 3D cast, uh, uh, my, my uh, resin cast heads, and it's not, that part's not 3D printed I was going to say, it's one of my resin cast heads onto which I have then put a spare headset that I had lying around and then because it became quite difficult at the time, because at the time you're seeing this, uh, it's probably a bit later than I had finished making this, but at the time I made this I wasn't able to sort of 3D print the wires on, so those are all sculpted on as well. Um, but he, he has come out very, very well. I'm very pleased with how he's come out. The dome doesn't quite go back as far as I would have liked it to. Again, because, you know, my 3D printing skills at the time weren't perfect to get it to go all the way back. But, you know, we, we never actually see him 
open on the cover and it's debatable whether it's open in the story I think it is personally but you know it's still a nice little extra to have and it's a nice little um, it's a nice little extra piece for those people that might want to you know actually have Davros inside as well obviously whether you want to display him closed or not and I say other people because I will be putting these files up on my Thingiverse uh, for people to download. I should say I will be putting these files up. It's actually only going to be the top half of Davros that I'm going to be putting up because, again, the bottom part is already up there uh, as part of um, Edward Felix's sculpt. There will be a link in the Thingiverse description to go and find that body, and that body, uh, that lower uh, part, the top part, will just sit on top of the lower part. Um, and obviously Davros Headcast, they are on my eBay shop, um, unless you have some spare yourself. It's certainly a, a, nice, uh, a nice little uh, extra piece to do with it, but it's, it's one that I'm very, very pleased that's, that's come out well. And, and I really do like this colour scheme as well, because as much as I do like the classic, um, uh, the classic Emperor Davros, I was going to say, the, the Imperial one, I do like this colour scheme just as, as a change and a difference because I think a lot of people have always assumed that this Davros was still in the Imperial casing and to be fair it's not a it's not an unreasonable assumption I think like most people I assume that was the case um, you know but when I actually started looking at the cover and looking at the Daleks that are on the cover there's a there is a there is a reason to debate that so I figured, well, you know, why not just make something a bit different, something that stands out to other people's. And but having said that, I know that I'm not the first person to have taken notice of this. I think many, many, many years ago, when I did my first uh, Terra Firma Davros, um, I looked online, uh, as you do, for looking for for customs and things like that. Because this was again at a time before I started really getting into customs. I looked for inspiration, and I had seen other people do this Davros with this colour scheme, so it is something that um, that has obviously been picked up by other fans as well, but as I said, I think it works very well, it's certainly one that I think looks very good, and um, is certainly one that I think uh, I think will be, uh, I hope will be uh, a popular one for people to, uh, to make and print themselves in future. But that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so. And funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I'll see you with another video very soon.